bad. So if you want to watch it, keep watching. I just thought I should do an intro where I looked more normal than my really terrible look. Um, I'll show you it. Hey guys, I just tried to do the $20 makeup challenge and I kind of failed at it. Look at this. This looks really, really bad. Um, I'm looking in the mirror. I tried to do a smoky eye and really like I couldn't use a bit. I'm starting with the foundation. I got one from NYC and it's called Smooth Skin Liquid Makeup. And I think this was like $2.74. Um, and I also got a brush from the top of it. It's like I have to use this brush to get it out. It's like kind of gross near the top. You can tell it's sort of, I don't know, not good quality. This is like really pathetic that I have to do this is like thick it is not liquid it's really kind of nasty um <laughs> but I'm gonna use it and I still have to use the end of this brush to get it out I would not recommend this I haven't used it yet though or trying to okay so I'm applying the foundation again it was an NYC I think it was called smooth skin and I think it was a pretty decent color match actually but when I put it on, it felt so heavy and gross, oh, and it was just so thick. Like, it was supposed to be liquid, but it was actually, like, extremely thick and felt really gross. And just the combination of using that brush kind of put way too much of it on my skin. I think I would have turned out better with my fingers, but it, it was still just really thick and annoying to get out. Kind of messy. Um, I didn't get a concealer, so I tried to put it underneath my eyes, too. And, um... I'm using a green screen because I couldn't film in my room that day, but I will not be using a green screen on a daily basis. I don't really like using it that much, but I did for this video. So, yeah, don't worry. I won't use that as much. Um, yeah, I was, like, talking, but I like this voiceover better. And I'm just putting on all over. Ugh. Look at my face. I'm like, ew. I remember thinking it was kind of gross. I think it was two seventy four. That's how much it cost. Oh, putting on my forehead was the worst. Like just watching this. Mm. If anyone uses this, let me know what you think of it. I'm kind of so. I also got this bronzer, and yeah, I think it was like four dollars. And I'm gonna try and. So I used the angled. Um, foundation brush as a contour brush with the bronzer and it actually turned out okay the bronzer was actually one of the things I thought was okay and that I might actually use so that yeah that was just me putting it on and the other side but it was weird because it wasn't fluffy and it was meant for foundation not contouring Okay, gonna move on to eyes. I'm gonna attempt a smoky eye because I haven't seen anyone else try it. So I got this e.l.f. little quad thing. And I'm going to start with the white color. Actually, I'm gonna use the little thing that it comes with. I couldn't get a base. Because I spent it on that. Okay, this is where everything went wrong. These eyeshadows weren't they didn't really blend. I mean, they weren't that pigmented either, and so it really didn't end up looking that great. So I first applied a white in the inner corner, and then I started using a, a black color, but it was really light gray, you can see there. And it just didn't show up, which made it really, really hard to do. Um, and I just kind of worked on it for a while. And then I was like, hey, I'll use the eyeliner that I got to just darken it up. So I attempted that, and the eyeliner was so sharp and it hurt so bad and you had to press really hard so that didn't really work either I'm gonna curl my eyelashes with this eyelash curler which I think might work okay I'm not used to a big eyelash curler like this though and um, it kind of isn't doing well so now I was just trying to fix it. You can see I tried to put the eyeliner on my finger and then put it on but it still didn't work and nothing was really showing up. It was just making it worse. So I went back to the eyeshadows and tried to apply it and it got darker but it just really never blended 
and looked really, really bad. It looked like I just put black eyeshadow all over my eye. Like, there was no, I don't know, it just looked so weird. And very cheap, which it was. I think the little quad was like a dollar from e.l.f. And I really don't like it. Um, yeah, so I tried, I tried highlighting. The white was okay, actually. But the dark, nope. Just looks so bad. You can see here. I look so upset. I'm like, why does this look so bad? Okay. So I'm curling my eyelashes with um, an NYC eyelash curler. And then I also got an NYC mascara. The mascara was a dollar and seventy four cents, and I thought it was actually pretty good. Um, my lashes are really short. It didn't volumize them at all, but it did lengthen them, and it didn't really hold a curl, so I wouldn't use it. I still like Lash Blast waterproof better, but it was one of the better items that I got for this challenge. And then this is pretty much how it ended up. I just did the other eye and was done. It's pretty bad. Um, I don't really like any of the products that I ended up using. Maybe the top two. This NYC bronzer was okay. And um, also, this mascara was okay. I probably wouldn't use them on a regular basis, but of everything I got, they are the best. So I'm going to go through each thing, their price, and what I think about it very, very quick, quickly. This is a foundation brush. This is by e.l.f. and it was $3. It was okay. I would rather use my fingers, but I used it to contour with the bronzer. And it didn't turn out great, but whatever. Next, I got an eye brush from e.l.f. This was $1. And it sort of is curved a bit, you can see. So you can use it as a crease brush. And for a dollar, like, that's a pretty good value. I mean, it didn't it doesn't look very good but I think if you tried and practiced with it it actually could work okay next is the foundation that I got and this is called the NYC smooth skin makeup this is really gross I didn't like it at all um, it's supposed to be liquid but it doesn't come out and it's like it's like thick like really thick like you can pound it a lot and it just never came out. I had to use the end of the brush. Kind of a disaster and it feels kind of gross. Not terrible. Like I could probably wear the foundation out and it'd be whatever but I'd rather not. And the last thing is the eyelash curler that comes with a free um brow and eyeliner pencil. This eyeliner pencil is the worst. It's super sharp and it hurts and you have to press really hard. I didn't even use it because it hurt and I just didn't like it. And this eyelash curler, it's just so... it's too big for my eye. 